I've always had my head in the clouds. I'm a dreamer. That's what I've been called. Some days this is a blessing. Sometimes not so much. Always dreaming of places to go and all the people I can meet. Most of my life I've been told that I'm wishing too much to be somewhere else other than where I am at the moment. I remember the day that the dreams of being someplace else started. I was eight years old. We went to my dad's work Christmas party. There was a Santa giving out presents. I remember choosing the box and I opened it and to my surprise it was a globe, my first globe. That day I spun that globe and thus started my dreams of faraway places. As I grew older, I watched my dad travel all over the world for work. I was always a little jealous. He would bring us treasures from his trips, sometimes tiny little things like chocolates or peanuts, sometimes letterhead from the hotel. Whatever it was, it was adventurous. It was magical to me. My favorite gift was a beautiful fuchsia sari. I later wore it for my senior prom. For as long as I can remember, I've collected postcards, maps, globes, books about faraway lands and people, atlases. I've spent many hours dreaming and scheming up trips. Some trips have happened. Others I patiently wait for the timing to be right. One recent trip I took to France to see my grandma. She has cancer. Little did I know as I sat by her, filming her tell her life stories, walked the streets in Paris with my cousin, and adventured into castles with my mom, that I would now, five months later, not be allowed to safely travel back to France. Not being allowed to go anywhere, really. It's really freed my brain up to, subconsciously. It's helped me to focus on what really matters. What matters today, now, where I am. My family. It's interesting, the theme of this film is set to be about quarantine. I felt it best to share the biggest lesson that I've learned during it. The world will always be out there. People come and go. Life is fragile. If we don't find a way to be happy where we are, we will always be chasing something else, only to find what's most important is right under our nose. I'm sad for the loss of this global pandemic. This time has forced me to slow down, of which I'm thankful for. Time to laugh a little more. Time to stop dreaming of faraway places and time to plan the fun to be had with my family here and now. Time to pray and time to enjoy the quiet moments. It's time to serve and it's time to play as a child. Time to live truly in the now with my family. To the world they are my family, but to me they are my world.